Gardner Tobin here at the National Fire Machinery Show over at Case IH now and uh, catching up with Trent Nowasad. Trent, how's it going? Pretty good so far. Awesome. Hey, it's going to get better now because we're going to talk about AFS Furrow Command Technology for Precision Disc Air Drills. And uh, I guess, I mean, there's a lot to unpack there, Trent, but talk about what you're doing and, and what you've put on this machine. Yeah, so to start off with, AFS Furrow Command is a trade name that we've developed for an advanced suite of technologies associated with our seating products. For model year 24 production, we're releasing something we're call, calling AFS Ferro Command Downforce Automation. And that's what we're showing at the show today. What this system is designed to do is to take uh, our down pressure setting to the next level. Uh, the system is basically a system where we've added uh, load cells on selected ranks across, or selected row units across the drill. And we're moving from setting down pressure on this, on this drill from a PSI or system pressure to an actual feedback from the gauge wheel, so down force or a pound of uh, force on that gauge wheel. Uh, that's what the system's doing. It allows us to set our down pressure a lot easier because it's providing us that feedback. It's also the system is designed with a percent ground contact reading, so we know we're set right if our low or the poundage we set for the gauge wheel is giving us a high percent ground contact. Uh, so we, it helps set our down pressure a lot easier by going to this feedback mechanism. Uh, it's also designed, it's also reactive. So when we get into challenging field conditions, maybe we got cart tracks or uneven residue across the field, and we need more down pressure in those spots, uh, the system will react to maintain that preset ground contact, that preset down pressure on the row units uh, in, a sexual manner, in a sexual manner so each section of the drill, each wing section of the drill can function independently for that. Tell us about how it's set up. Do you have an actual downforce control on each unit? So it's not on each unit. Uh, what we do is we have a selection of them. Each rank in this size has two down pressure or two load cells built into the T handles or depth adjustment handles on each front and back rank and that's repeated on each section. Uh, that, along with software that we've developed and tested extensively for the last number of years, uh, work to build this uh, understanding of what the drill's doing and allow the drill to uh, adjust to those conditions. Well, exactly, and that's the key, compensate and adjust, right Trent? Yeah, compensate and adjust. From a grower's perspective, you know, is it, is it really about superior seed placement here? Yes, it is. It's about really three things. The, there's really three key benefits here. First of all, it's ease of use. It's much easier to set that down pressure. Doesn't really, really require, it's very intuitive with that pounds of force on the gauge wheel. And with the feedback, that percent ground contact measurements, much easier, especially for a new grower, or someone not familiar with it, or for uh, maybe labor that's a little bit unskilled. So that's one benefit, ease of use. The next thing is superior seed placement, especially in those challenging conditions. Because the system's designed to be reactive to maintain that pounds on the gauge wheel, which basically is maintaining our depth control. If we get into varying conditions, now it's adjusting for that without any operator input. And the third big benefit out of it is reduced maintenance cost. Because we're always setting that right down pressure, we're not running to that tendency of applying excess, which can cause wear on the componentry. It's really reducing wear, especially in challenging stubble conditions on components like the discs, like the scrapers, and especially the gauge rows. Um, Trent, great stuff. Um, what about availability? When is this system going to be available to grow? So it is limitedly available for fall season of use this year. Uh, we will go to a new order writing program here in the spring for next spring season of use, and it'll be fully available on Mall Year 24 production uh, later on this year. Uh, Trent, always great to have you on Real Agriculture. Appreciate you making the time. No problem. Thanks very much for having me.